everybody, today I will be showing you how to make this rainbow loom tree, tree frog charm and you will need a lot of bands for this. The bands you'll need today are 24 orange. This doesn't have to be um, a tree frog. If you don't want it to be, you won't use orange. Um, five red for the eyes. You can use beads for the eyes if you want, but I'm going to be um, doing red bands and one for the tongue. So you need four lime green. This can be normal green or lime green. It's right here. Um, and 106 normal green. So those are all the bands. Let's start by making the eyes. You can use beads if you want, or bands, I'll be using bands. If you're using bands, you're going to get two red bands and loop them around your hook four times. Like that, and then do the same thing with two more bands. Like that, now we're going to get a single green Put them on your hook, put it on your hook and pull them through. Just lost it, I'll try again. If you were using beads, you would just um, thread a band onto the bead and those would be the eyes. And um, you can add pupils to it with a sharpie by drawing them on, only if you have beads though. Just pull them over. Okay, you know, now those are the eyes. I like to put them at the bottom of my, my loom so they're separated for later. Now we'll make his or hers front um, arms. We will need our loom for this. Wait, put it away. So your loom should be in the staggered position with arrows facing towards you. And we'll be using green bands for this. So start by getting two green rubber bands going down um, four times. Two, three, and four. Now get getting two more green bands. Go from this peg to this peg. And then, wait, I'm just going to check something. Yeah, and then do that on the other side. And then go down one in the centre. Like that. Now we're using orange bands. Get a single orange. Double it. And go down one on each row. Double in it. Row of pegs. Know what I mean? Then here, now we'll cap all these ends off four times. One, two, three, four, four, and one, two, three, and four. Then the center. One, two, three and four. Now we'll get our hook and start to loop. Go under this peg or this peg or this peg. Grab in the um, single band that we doubled. Then here, open up and then now 
get the two green bands or, or whatever colour you're using then going under all these bands getting the two green looping all the way up your loom it's just simple looping like that now we can take this off just using my hook to get it off you don't have to if you don't want to I think it's just easier okay now we need to make another one you can hear that noise is just Another one, it's exactly the same, going to go quicker this time. Just taking it off now. After this we'll make the back legs and they're going to be longer than this. Okay. So now I have made this one, I can stretch it out so we can put this aside. Now I will make the back legs, they're quite big. Oop, bands are stuck. Okay, we're going to be using double band for this as well. So you are going to get two bands um, on, on this row, going down six times, two, three, four, five, let me just check something yeah six times and six so now we have that now we're going to get two more bands uh, um, you're going to count down one two three pegs then right there you're going to put these bands right there like that now we will get two more bands going um, actually we're gonna use our hook for this so you're going to get an orange band loop around your hook four times then single orange band double it oops put it through then both ends back on your hook then two green bands Oops. pull it through now once you have that you are going to stick it on um, this peg like so now we're going to make two more it's exactly the same Looping around, hook four times, single, twist, double, put it on your hook and bring that over. Then two green bands, pull through, then you can put this on your loom, like we did with the other one, but it's going to be facing towards you. That and then last one. Single, double. Put on your hook. Bring over. Two green bands. Pull through. Now that's going to be the last one. 
push it all down, then go on this peg facing that way. Now we can start to loop, go under all these bands, might be a bit tricky, you can pull these back if you want, makes it easier. Get the two bands, loop up and then continue looping up until you get to this peg. So stop here, then go under here instead of looping forward, go to this peg like that. Then just continue looping this. Then, once you've done that, you're going to take this piece off, like that, and just put it on this peg. Zoom in. Now go in under here, looping, looping, hooking, all the way up. Now you can just take this off, like that, that will be another leg, like that, stretch it out, I'm just going to check this, ok now we're going to make another one, this time we're going to do it in the centre row so we don't have to do it with our hook. Now that is another leg. We will start making the body now. I'm just going to check something. Yeah. I'm going to stretch this out. Okay, now let's make the body. Start by getting two green bands going from the centre peg to this side, then two more, go here, now you are going to go down five times with the same colour on this side, I'm just going to move these bands over here, two, three, four, five, and then coming into the center peg. Now repeat that on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and then coming into the center peg. Now filling in the middle, but we're going to change colours on these two pegs, so swap in to lime green, or if you want you can just use the same colour, this doesn't really look like lime green, but it doesn't matter. Filling in the centre with the same colours. this. Now we can add the eyes from our bottom of the loom, the bottom of our loom. Push these pegs down. You are going to put them, oops, I just dropped it, one on this peg and one side on this peg. Separate them and you are going to bring this loop here, the top one, and 
bring it to the peg above. So like that. Now we'll add the front, front um, legs. So you're going to get one, put your hook through these loose ends like that and put it on this peg like that and then repeat that on the other side put it back on your hook then do this side like that now the back legs put in our hook back on it or in it then put in it on this last peg then the other one on the opposite side push this down and put it on this peg turn it around now we can add the holding bands so get a single on these three pegs like that and on these three pegs and um, you're going to get a single on these but you're going to twist it and put it on these two pegs so that will be its neck part. And we are going to get another band. And cap this end off three or four times. Four times. Okay, now we can loop going under this peg or cap band get um, the top two, two single bands loop up and then go under again the other two into the last one try to just get two got three then the last ones here then going under all these bands for its legs Get in the two single bands, looping up, and then do the same on this side, loop up, and then continue looping up this side. Going under all these bands, getting the two bands. Then once you've got up to here, get two bands going to the center. Same on this side. Then getting these two like that. Now it will, it should look like this, something like this. Now we can go under this peg, get your last band, red band, literally, single, pull it through, like that, tie a slip knot, and it's red because it can be like it's ton. Pull it tight, now you can take it off your loom. it off okay now I've taken it off my loom it looks a bit crazy 
so you can sort it out put its eyes out if you want make its legs neater make sure to pull this tight so that was what it looks like that was how to make a rain balloon tree frog charm don't forget to subscribe like comment and share thanks for watching bye